Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through Comparing Quantities. Today we are going to a new topic. That is, deducing a formula for compound interest. In your previous sessions, we have seen that the simple interest for n years is PNR divided by 100. We know compound interest is the interest on interest and is calculated on the principal and the interest accumulated over the previous period of time. Now we are going to deduce a formula for calculating compound interest, compounding annually for a period of n years. So for first year, the simple interest, SI1 is equal to P1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by R divided by 100 equals P1R divided by 100. This is equation 1. And the total amount at the end of first year, A1 equals P1 plus SI1, which is equation 2. Substitute equation 1 in equation 2. Then the equation 2 becomes A1 equals P1 plus P1R divided by 100. Taking P1 as common. A1 equals P1 multiplied by 1 plus R divided by 100. This is the amount at the end of one year. In a to calculate the compound interest, we take A1 at first year. As the principal of second year, P2. That is, P2 equals P1 multiplied by 1 plus R divided by 100. Equation 3. Now find simple interest for second year SI2. SI2 equals P2 multiplied by 1, multiplied by R, the whole divided by 100. SI2 equals P2R, divided by 100. Equation 4. We have P2 equals P1, multiplied by 1 plus R by 100. Substitute the value of P2 in equation 4. SI2 equals P1 multiplied by 1 plus R divided by 100, the whole multiplied by R divided by 100 equals P1R divided by 100 multiplied by 1 plus R divided by 100. Therefore total amount at the end of second year, A2 equals P2 plus SI2. We have P2 equals P1 multiplied by 1 plus R divided by 100. SI2 equals P1R divided by 100 multiplied by 1 plus R divided by 100. So, A2 equals P1, multiplied by 1 plus, R divided by 100, plus P1R, divided by 100, multiplied by 1 plus, R divided by 100. Taking P1, multiplied by 1 plus, R divided by 100, as common. A, 2 equals P1, multiplied by 1 plus, R divided by 100. The whole multiplied by 1 plus, R divided by 100. Equals P1, multiplied by 1 plus, R divided by 100, the whole square. Equals P3, which is the principal for the third year. Here the number of years is 2, so the amount is P1 multiplied by 1 plus R divided by 100 whole square. 
Similarly, if n equals 3, then total amount at the end of third year, a3, equals p1, multiplied by 1 plus, r, divided by 100, the whole cube. Then, what will happen, if n equals 4? Total amount at the end of fourth year, a4 equals, p1, multiplied by 1 plus, r, divided by 100, the whole raised to 4. Then, if number of years, n equals n, then the total amount, a n, equals p1, multiplied by 1 plus, are divided by 100 the whole raised to n. In general, the total amount, a equals, p multiplied by 1 plus, are divided by 100, the whole raised to n. Where p is the principal on which interest is compounded annually at a rate of a percent for n years. We know that compound interest, ci, equals total amount a minus principal p. That is, ci equals a minus p. We have a equals p multiplied by 1 plus are divided by 100, the whole raised to n. Therefore, ci equals p multiplied by 1 plus are divided by 100, the whole raised to n minus p. Taking p as common, ci equals p multiplied by 1 plus are divided by 100, the whole raised to n minus 1, which is the formula for calculating compound interest for n years. Let's have a quick recap. Today we learned a formula to find the amount and compound interest for n years. That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting topic.